Okay, one of the really big issues on a boat or a floating house, uh, or really in any house, is that there is a lot of wastewater that is produced. And especially on a boat, uh, you don't have a place where you can just send that easily to municipal water treatment plant. Um, usually when you're in a house, your water just, your wastewater just disappears and you don't ever have to think about it. Um, but on a floating house or a, a boat, um, you have to either put that in tanks or that water just runs into the, uh, into the ocean or a lake and that's really not a good solution. So what we are doing on a sea pod is we're developing a uh, special wastewater treatment system uh, in combination with a technology partner we are working with that we will be announcing soon and they have uh, combined a couple of different technologies to make uh, a system that can fit in a sea pod or a floating home and uh, allow it to recycle 99% or so of all of its uh, wastewater. Uh, that can be grey water uh, coming from sinks from showers, from dishwashers, uh, with soapy oil or um, soapy water or uh, oily water and uh, can take care of uh, black water as well. Uh, so this system uh, here is, these are the first pictures we're getting of the unit that's being built for the sea pod. And this is, uh, in size, this is about uh, two cubic meters including the onboard tank and um, uh, there's a few processing units and basically what this does is it uses a couple different processes one is called electrocoagulation which is a process from that was invented back in 1958 and it uses several metal plates closely spaced together and then you pass an electric current through the plates and then you pass the uh, the waste water liquid through the, uh, the gap between the plates and um, what happens is that all the particles that are in the water coagulate. Uh, so it's electrocoagulation. So they coagulate, they, they group together, they clump together and they become very easy to filter out. So we're using this process to, um, to clean all the water and the, you can actually get the water to such a clean state that you can drink the water afterwards. Now we're going to be treating the gray water and the black water in two separate containment tanks. So the black water will be treated and that will, uh, once it's cleaned, it's going to go back into the uh, uh, toilet, basically in the, into this toilet cistern, in the toilet tank. Um, so it'll be like a closed loop system for the toilet water. And then the gray water can either be released into a lake uh, or to the ocean because it's actually drinkable water, or you can recycle it back through the house and reuse it for showers and washing dishes and other, and other uses in the house. So it's very exciting to finally get uh, the images here and we hope to have the unit here on site in the next month or so. Uh, and we'll be able to actually demonstrate it in process uh, being used. So that's uh, very exciting, very exciting progress. I'm very, uh, you know, this is something that hasn't been done before on the scale of something of a house. So to be able to have this technology and launch it for CPods is, is really fantastic. We're really excited about this.